160 meters has been a band that has always been elusive to me. I don't have a lot of room here in the backyard. I've got the DX Commander vertical antenna, which does 80 meters with the inverted L and 40 meters and up. But 160 meters, I just never had an antenna that I could at least just get on the band with. And that's where this antenna comes in. I've had this set up over the last few days doing some tests. This is the Mad Dog coil. Let me just remove this uh, plastic cover that I had here. I've been using this for the Remembrance Day contest and I wanted to keep the rain off of something underneath here. There we go. This is the Mad Dog coil. This is known as the Big Dog. Now you can see that I've got a um, lazy dog here. This is a new product from Mad Dog Coils and I'll put a link below in the description for you guys to have a look at this particular coil but um, basically what this is is I've got this set up here on a surveyor's tripod and I've got this plate that was um, very kindly made up by another amateur here um, local for my radial plate and I've got my coax coming in here to the bottom of the coil and at the bottom of this in this cap this BNC connector here, the center conductor of that BNC connector, that connects into this banana plug here on the other side of the coil. You can see that there's a red banana plug there. And then what you can do is you can tap off to one of these taps here on the coil. So at the moment I've got this lazy dog connected and what this is, is this is actually a, a switch. So I've been switching between 80 and 160. So I've got this particular uh, collar here at the bottom which is for 160 and this coil, uh, this collar, sorry, at the top of the coil here is for 80. If you wanna just run this coil standalone, you can, and you can just run a jumper between here, which I don't have outside at the moment, but you just jumper each side of your coil. And what, it, what I've got it here is I've got it sitting on top of this uh, plate at the bottom here. This is insulated, this is not connected to anything. This is just for a support. And the coil just sits there and then at the top, you can connect a Chameleon SS25, and I actually have one of those. I can screw that in and I can run that. Or I've got here a little uh, banana plug plugged into this um, terminal here, which comes with the antenna. And I've got about nine meters of wire on that DX Commander Classic uh, squid pole. And then you just adjust this collar up and down for the best SWR. So here's my Chameleon SS25. So this antenna, the big dog, is supplied with a 3 8 um, adapter so that you can, or coupler, so that you can screw that basically here into the top. And we can extend this whip out. Now, full length, 7.62 meters, I think it is, 25 feet. Um, that gets you on 80 meters with the coil, you know, roughly in the middle sort of thing. That's where mine is at the moment. Um, and 160 meters, you can adjust that to how you want. Now I believe that 40 meters, you can also run this and you just adjust the collar up even further. So by just plugging in here at the bottom, I can then now plug that into either collar, so 160, 80, or I can completely bypass the coil and I can plug into there and now all I need to do is I just need to adjust the length of my whip here on the top for the other bands, the higher bands, 30 metres, 20 metres, 10 metres, 15 metres, all those bands, 6 metres maybe even as well. So then effectively you've got yourself a little ground mounted uh, quarter wave vertical. I know I'm going to get plenty of comments about radials in this video. So all I've got at the moment, and yes, it's not going to be completely efficient, it's not going to be completely the best setup completely, but at least it gets you on the air. At the moment I've got four radials, so on this radial plate I've got five wires there and they're five metres long, so I've got one, two, three, four bunches, and they're just spread out there, um, probably a bit hard to see, but they're just spread out there in the backyard. Now you can put more radials down obviously and that's going to make it work a little bit better, a little bit more efficiently, but this is sort of all that I had. Now if you don't have a radial plate like this, you don't need to worry about that too much. If I come around this other side, you'll see that the connection to the radial plate is this BNC plug which has a black um, a banana plug on it. So I've just made a little lead here to go from banana plug to this um, fork connector to connect to the radial plate but you can get these stackable BNC's you can plug that in and you can have your radials coming out of there and just stack them on as you need. This works reasonably well um, I've had well the contest has got 
about another hour to go but overnight 160 and 80 meters was going pretty well and I had about 37 contacts on 80 meters and 19 contacts on 160 meters and I also tested it on whisper um, these are my whisper results you can see that I got all around VK and also ZL and some pretty surprising results as far as the signal strengths were concerned too. So obviously something like this is not going to outperform like a dipole but if you've got a small backyard like me it might be the solution that you've been looking for. If you've got an even smaller backyard you don't necessarily have to have five meter long radials you could have lots more radials but shorter length as well. I think Marty suggests about four and a half meter long radials um, in bunches at least in his uh, testing that he's been doing. So what I've got here is I've just got the first coil here on 160 just plugged in and we're going to do an SWR check. So you can see there at 1.86 megahertz here in the backyard I've got a 1.3 SWR. Now I have got this down to one to one. Now the reason isn't it isn't one to one at the moment is because I have the second collar at the top, the 80 meter collar and that kind of I think interacts a little bit with the tuning on 160. So um, I, I can get a little bit lower than that. You can get one-to-one -one tuning if you want to, but my tuner in the radio will take care of that. Let's now have a look at 80 meters. So all I've got to do is now move that jumper up to the second collar. 5.7, 3.58, we've got a 1.2 SWR. Again, if you only use one collar, I'm pretty sure that this goes a little bit lower. I get one-to-one -one, uh, one -one match. It. There we go, 3.6 megahertz, 1.2 to 1. And I've just shifted the collar pretty much almost to the top of the coil now. And with my wire set up, I have a 1.4 SWR on 40 meters. Now I've just extended the SS25 and I've got the bypass on. If I reduce the sections even more, with a couple of sections in on the chameleon, we've now got 15 meters. So I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on the Mad Dog Lazy Dog. So this is for those who want to use Mad Dog coils out portable, but you don't want to have to keep manually moving the jumper wire on the collar all the time. So what Marty's done is he's designed in this 3D printed case a relay board. So what you go in here is uh, you have your main connection here, which is a red wire. You can see that that's soldered in to the PCB. You've got a solder these wires on depending on what preference and how many collars you've actually got. I've just got a couple here, I've got three of them um, coming out so I can select each one of these. And then what you do is, is inside you connect via uh, ethernet cable, this is just running power um, over it to these relays and you've got a multi-turned uh, switch which you can then select which output you want to go to. So starting here from the bottom you've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, and you've also got a zero position as well so that it's not connected to anything too. So um, this is really good. I've been using this in the contest so that I can switch between uh, the 80 meter and the 160 meter collar and it's worked an absolute treat. The only thing is is that this thing isn't waterproof. Um, so if you get water in it, you're probably going to damage those um, relays in there. So just be careful with that. That's why I had the plastic box over the top of oh, plastic box, the plastic uh, bag over the top of this, just to keep the rain off, and obviously did the job because this is only a temporary installation. So if you want something more permanent, you might have to put this in a waterproof box outside. Now these coils are sold by Marty VK4KC here in Australia, but he does ship them overseas. Now if you want to get hold of one of these coils then there is a link in the description below to Marty's store. When you order it would be good if you put in the special comments that you saw this video or put my call sign so that he knows where um, he uh, got the traffic from basically. But he also sells not only the big dog, he sells a little dog, um, he also sells a range of dipole antennas as well so check them out they're really good products. I've done a review on the smaller coil that is for well, there's a smaller coil than this that'll do 80, it won't do 160, but it'll also do 40 metres and up. If you want to see that um, using a 5.2, I think a 17 foot whip, then there's a video over here that you can watch.